Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome. It's wonderful to see you today. So glad you're here. Please come up and sit on Grammy's quilt with me. Today, I'm not going to have you guess what the animal is I'm going to share with you. I'm going to tell you it's a mountain lion. And mountain lions are known also as cougars or pumas. And their length is somewhere between six to eight feet. They have a very long tail, can be up to four feet long. And they weigh almost, well, somewhere between 150 and 200 pounds. They prefer thick underbrush, and that's where they like to hunt. They run very fast. They can run up to 40 to 50 miles an hour. They can go 10 miles an hour with no problem, but 40 to 50 miles an hour, wow, that is fast. And the females have one to six cubs per year. Uh, they live about eight to 15 years in the wild. And in captivity, they live up to 20 years. They have beautiful gray-brown fur and gorgeous eyes, greenish-gray eyes. They are carnivorous and they eat small animals and sometimes deer. They have very powerful limbs and can leap up to 40 to 45 feet. That's a long leap. And they hunt, like to hunt early in the morning. Um, I brought a picture today of a mountain lion, and you can see, whoop, you can see on this mountain lion, has a very large head and these big greenish gray eyes, a very powerful body and very strong legs. You can just see a tip of it, but it, it's its tail. And it is usually four feet long. And it says, God made the mountain lion. I'm going to tell you a story today. It's a true story. It's a very, very interesting story. It's about me. We lived in 1992 in Southern California. And we lived in a town called Wildemar. And it was, our house was on five acres, which was right up against the Angeles National Forest. So our property was five acres, right up against the forest. And we had a big, long driveway, about 400 feet. And then it kind of, the house went up and into where the house was. So early one morning, in 1992, I had decided to go for a run. It was early. It was probably 5.30. And I had two dogs, Max and Bear. And they were Malmute's Golden Retriever mix. They were very large dogs. They lived outside. And they ran that hill all the time. And so... Early this morning, I get up and do my stretching in the driveway, and then we head down the 400-foot drive that took us to a dirt road on Leslie. Now, the dogs weren't on leashes because they, um, they, there was just all wilderness there, so there was really no need for them to be on a leash and they knew the area very well so they max the bigger of the two dogs had gone around the garage he had gone around behind the garage and then he had a pathway that he could work his way down to the driveway bear went down the driveway in front of me he was probably 10 to 12 feet in front of me and I came along and as we came around it kind of curved and as we came around Max 
must have caused this mountain lion, which I had no idea was there, in the hillside between the driveway and the back of the garage, Max movement must have caused the mountain lion to stir, who is probably out hunting. And the mountain lion leaped right between me and, um, and Bear. And he was like about, who maybe, I don't know, maybe five or six feet in front of me. I could have reached out and touched him. He was seven feet long, and he had very beautiful hair, golden brown hair, and a tail that was like four, four feet long. And he just leaped out in front of the path, never touched the driveway at all, and leaped over into the area where we had kind of an orchard and just ran quickly into the brush. God. I was so stunned. Boy, I was so stunned. I could not believe it. And it was just a moment. It was just a moment. He was there and he was gone. And I want you to know that God is our great protector. He is somebody that is there with us every day. His angels are around us. If we ask him to be there and present in our life to protect us, he will. I want you to pray with me today that God will protect you and me. So let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, I thank you so much for this beautiful day. And I thank you for the gift of life that you've given each one of us. I pray for the protection of each child listening to this story. And I pray, God, that your spirit will put his your mighty angels around them and protect each one of us today. And I ask that in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for listening to my story today. I'm so glad you were here.